It's no longer a dream but a reality. The Lagos Blue Line Rail has finally commenced commercial operations. In this video, we'll take you on a journey through the history, features, and benefits of this remarkable transportation infrastructure. So, let's get started. The Lagos Blue Line Rail project has been a long time coming. Initially planned in 1983, it faced numerous funding and administrative delays. However, on Monday, September 4, 2023, Lagos State Governor, Mr. Babajide Sanwo Olu, boarded the train from the first coach, marking the official launch of the service. Lagos State officials held a formal opening ceremony for the service in December 2022, but it had not actually carried passengers until this date. This first trip from Marina Station to Mile 2 took between 17 and 20 minutes with brief stops at each station before reaching the final destination. This initial phase will operate with 12 daily trips for the first two weeks as a test run, but once fully operational, it will run 76 trips daily, from 5.30 am till 10 pm, carrying an estimated 175,000 passengers every day. To ensure efficient operations, each train will only stop for 90 seconds at every station, maintaining a strict schedule. The metro service will adhere to a fixed timetable, available at all stations and on the Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority LAMADA, website. Speaking of LAMADA, here's what the Managing Director, Engineer Abimbola Akinajo, had to say about the key features and safety measures of this remarkable rail system. The Lagos Blue Line Rail is a significant milestone for our city. We have electrified the rail tracks and implemented a unified payment system called the Kauri Card. This smart card allows residents to conveniently access the facility. However, it is essential to emphasize that pedestrian crossing the rail tracks is strictly prohibited due to the electrical power supply. To ensure safety, we have installed 300 cameras at every station and along the tracks. We discourage eating or drinking on the train to maintain a clean and orderly environment for all passengers. Each trip currently costs 375 naira due to a 50% reduction in transport fare introduced by Governor Sanwo Olu. However, please note that this fare may increase to 750 naira once the reduction is lifted by the government. The completion of the Lagos Blue Line Rail project marks a significant achievement for Lagos State. With the successful commissioning, Lagos has become the first subnational government in Africa to fund and deliver a rail system using its own resources. The first phase of the project covers 27 kilometers, connecting Mile 2 to Marina. It comprises of five stunning passenger stations at Mile 2, Alava, Oriole Egenmu, National Theater, and Marina. The Marina station serves as a major interchange, integrating other modes of transportation, such as water and road, with the rail system. The integration of technology into the Lagos Blue Line Rail is truly impressive. With electricity-powered trains, automated world-standard cars equipped with audio and visual communication systems, and speed governors to deter speeds above 80 km per hour, this rail system is a significant step towards making Lagos a smart city. The positive impact of the Lagos Blue Line Rail on the lives of Lagosians cannot be overstated. It will greatly reduce pressure on road traffic, especially for those commuting from the mainland to the island. Furthermore, it will enhance business transactions, improve transportation efficiency, and attract foreign partnerships and private investments, boosting the state's economy. The Lagos Blue Line Rail is just the beginning of a larger vision for an integrated transport system in Lagos State. Managed by LAMADA, this rail line is part of the Lagos Strategic Transport Master Plan, which encompasses six rail lines, one monorail, 14 bus rapid transit, corridors, over 20 water routes, and major new roads. The completion of the second phase, which will cover 14 kilometers from Mile 2 to Okokomeko, is already underway. Once fully operational, the entire project is expected to serve 500,000 people daily, providing a reliable and efficient mode of transportation for the residents of Lagos. The Lagos Blue Line Rail is not only a transportation infrastructure, but a symbol of progress and development. It represents the dedication and commitment of successive administrations to transform the transport ecosystem of Lagos. With the Lagos Blue Line Rail, Lagosians can now experience a more efficient and convenient way to navigate the city. It is a testament to the resilience and determination of Lagos State to deliver world-class infrastructure that will improve the lives of its residents. That's all for today's video. We hope you enjoyed this journey through the Lagos Blue Line Rail. If you found this video informative and exciting, 
please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.